welcome to another vlog. Got a little true back there and lots of stuff. We are on the road headed to Dallas to pick up an RV. The last video we were in a just a random RV that's on the car lot. But we've been looking for a little bit for our RV just to be able to have for us to be able to travel in. And we found it. And so we're driving down, pick it up. Um, I just got done at the RV shop. So yeah, we were super excited. It's gonna need some work. It's a little bit of a fixer upper on the inside. It's kind of outdated. And we have no idea what we're doing, but it will be fun. And then we're also going to go to Waco, go to the silos and just make a trip out of it. place so we're excited to be here and be picking it up the little baby waking up I was just about to pull him out anyway he has been a champ this whole trip well I got a little guy up here with me and we're trying to stay cool it's 102 degrees outside Jed's got it worse he's out there I don't even know if that camper or the RV is hooked up bless you <gasps> Bless you. Oh, there's a girl. Yeah, we're just waiting it out till he's ready and then we will check this thing out. So we got all hooked up and the AC is going. Thankfully cooling this thing down because it was getting pretty warm. Thought I'd show you a little tour of the RV. Um, so obviously here's the door. You come in and all of our stuff is still everywhere but couch there. Then there's a couch there. A little dining area here. Um, kitchen. Obviously, this is like very obvious, but it's very spacious in here, which is super nice. Um, fridge and freezer are here. And then here we have our bathroom, which is also pretty big. And shower, however you get that open. Really nice, good space in there. And then in here is a nice big mirror, drawers, and bed. Check that out. And check the closet out. Super nice, Closet. super nice. We just got this mattress and it works perfectly. So we are excited about this. Well, it's Saturday morning and we are pretty much all loaded up here. Got the slides pulled in. We had a great night last night. We ended up going to a Mexican restaurant with some friends, then came back and pretty much just crashed. We were so exhausted from the heat and the long day. This morning, our plan is to drive to Waco and spend the morning there. And from there, we don't really have plans. This little guy's doing great this morning. Just hanging out, loving life. Okay. There he is. Hey. What's the update? Did you get it all hooked up? Got it all hooked up. I'm just trying the lights now to get my car lights going. will be on the road. Also, I don't know if we mentioned yesterday, but our generator wasn't working properly. Unless we were hooked up, we didn't really have AC. We were really praying this morning that it would work because Texas heat. So Jed was able to look at it with a guy from the RV place, it started working. So we have like very cold AC. So praise the Lord for that. It will make our trip much more enjoyable. We're on the road. Yeah, we are. And we just got the car all hooked up. Everything is great now, praise God. We had some issues with wiring, but we're all good to go. Where are we going though? We are gonna head uh, to the silos now. And now that we got our AC and everything working, we may just go clear down to Mexico. <laughs> we can go anywhere. We can. Anywhere.
and cheese. Grilled cheese. Yes. Grill? Is it grilled mac and cheese? I guess. Hey, it doesn't look like grilled cheese. Okay. These places were open when we were here last time, so. Yeah. We've got There's to go. some seriously good food here, guys. Let's go to all of them. That. It's amazing. I thought it was like mac and cheese and a grilled cheese, but this is almost better. It looks good. Fresh squeeze. And then I like my sweet tea. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> there they go. Thank you. <laughs> Oh no, more candles? You ever wonder what a library smells like? Actually, it doesn't smell like this, but it smells good. You smell it. Bergamot, clove, and firewood. Ugh. Library that smells does like not smell like a library. <laughs> <laughs> smells like a library bathroom. <laughs> it did, didn't it? <laughs> oh my. Hey. We don't drink coffee, but if we did... I drink like sugary coffee. I'm just not feeling it right now. I'd rather have a cupcake. I, oh, okay. We're going to go get one of those world famous cupcakes. That is a sophisticated box. Yeah, right? Check this out. Vanilla cake with chocolate Wow. They also have nuts and bolts, chip lap. There's some weird stuff in there. Yeah, but they're good. They have a weird name. All right, we're gonna head back to the camper. We've had a fun time at the silos. Wow. This is so cool. Now we're gonna head back to the camper for a minute because we got our slides already out. And cupcake. Oh, and eat the cupcake. And then we will go to the Dr. Pepper Museum. How is that cupcake? Okay, I haven't tried it, but the presentation was ruined on the way over. It like <laughs> fell over. It flipped over. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Was it worth the eighteen dollars? Four. Four dollars. It was delicious. <laughs> All right, let's head over to the Dr. Pepper Museum now. It seems like every time we go somewhere, we end up at a museum. I know, it's kind of our thing, but the fun And we don't even like read just, them. Like, zoom through them. Wow. Kind of, kind of cool. I mean, it's kind of cool. I wish there was a movie to watch or something. Oh, a movie. You're also planning to take Dr. Pepper to the museum. If it takes that many machines to make Dr. Pepper, is it healthy to ingest in your body? Of course not, but who thinks of health? It's Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Here is the old well of the Dr. Pepper factory. Well, the museum was good. Now we're getting our free Dr. Pepper at the end. Free Dr. Pepper because we paid $10 for a it's ticket. A $10 Dr. Pepper. With the experience of the museum. Yeah, and they asked us if we wanted to donate to the um, museum because it's a nonprofit. I'm like, I donate every time I buy a Dr. Pepper at McDonald's or wherever. Uh -huh. So I feel like they should be paying me. Yes. I'm joking. Oh, you're actually making it? Yeah, yeah, we actually did make all the drinks. That's amazing. Wow. That's good, isn't it? What do you think of it? But 
they made it right there, so I'm impressed. It has, the, it has the sting, you know, the sting that's like... Yeah. Oh, I love when it's like sharp. <laughs> sharp. Sting. Sharp pain. Sharp. Well, goodbye, Waco. <laughs> well, we stopped over at a RV park here mm -hmm. outside of Waco now mm -hmm. and stay the night. How handsome this guy is. <laughs> hey so there. Cute. Getting some free breakfast. I'm gonna guess you're gonna get the fifth wheel. Yep, that's exactly Yeah, it. I know you too well. Okay, you're gonna get your job. Huh. I don't even know what I'm gonna get. Maybe the class A. And he's gonna get nothing. <laughs> Baby, what'd you find? I got a fuel tank. At? Bucky's. Bucky's. I've actually had one of these fuel tanks before and I loved them. And I bought it from here last time we were here, last year. And I, I wanted another one. So. Yeah. Early Christmas. He loves Bucky's. <laughs> We're gonna go get our lunch now. Yum. So we finally made it home. It is 11.30 p.m. And... I got a package, which is Ooh. always fun. Fun. Especially when you don't know what it is. All right. Yeah, it was a pretty uneventful day of driving. We're all tired, so... We're gonna open this box and head to bed and unpack everything tomorrow. We will hopefully do a lot more RV trips in the future and we will also maybe do some updates on the renovations as the we get those started. That's gonna be, yes. That's gonna be some crazy renovation work and so we'll make sure yeah. to do before and after for you guys so you yes. can see it. So stay tuned, we love y'all.